Hey, this is John Carlos, and I'm here with special guest and dear friend, BJ. I'm trying to point around this box, because this box is huge. Size does matter. You're one of the biggest Batman fans I know. I, I think so. I try. And, and you, 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 not only a big fan, but you're like, you're fancy. You, you work in the field of Batman. I do. I work at Warner Brothers Animation. I work on the, yeah. Yeah, you worked stuff. on Return of the Cake Crusaders. Yep. Which is appropriate, because now we're looking at some classic Batman stuff. Yes, sir. Yeah, so this is huge. Look at the size of this freaking thing. This is the uh, Shakespeare Vinyl Bus Bank. It is freaking huge. It's made by a, it's a di bank? by Diamond. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Um, I'm gonna open this up for you guys. Uh, yeah, Diamond Select makes all sorts of cool things that are like statues, but they're like, haha, it's not a statue. It's a bank. I don't know what like the loophole yeah, is there. With yeah, that. I wonder if that's a yeah. Um, kind of like you know a figure versus a bobblehead and the legal clearances of all that, but they make really detailed things yeah. that happen to have a little penny slot in the back. So let's, uh, here, I'm going to open up this end, and then you can reach reach up into my box. <laughs> and Just then, like old times. Yeah, and then pull it out real good, because it's important <laughs> kids to pull out. <laughs> okay. Yeah, and then, and I'm just going to make sure I'm drop shakes. Oh, okay. Boy. There we go. Oh, that's that pretty rad. Here's a quick look at the bus, just so you can take in some of the details within it. Uh, first up, I'll just show you guys the base, which is pretty consistent all the way around. But underneath the base is a little twist-off little hole that you can open up and take the change out, the change that you've put in this bank. Here's a look at the uh, the back, the little support thing that leads to the, the busty shoulders. I'll show you where the coins go in in a moment. But I just want to show you guys the uh, wrinkling of the shirt and the shadowing of the, uh, the paint the little paint shadows that achieve the bronze effect. Also, the sculpt of the hair is pretty strong, not just on the side of his head, but on his mustache and chin area. I'll just give you guys a look around the side of the figure. You can see all that hair that's been sculpted. And, you know, his little bald spot where he's balding back there. But yeah, overall strong sculpt within like the cheekbone area and the chin, even just like the sculpt of his eyes. The little eye area, strong nose, strong mustache and chin. And then you open this up here, and right above the switch and all that is the slot that you put the coins in. So yeah. All right, what do you think? Well, first of all, I have to say something. Um, I actually work for Warner Brothers, so every opinion contained in me that comes out of my mouth is completely my opinion, and no one else is. No one's telling me what to do or what I like or yeah. Anyway, so, yeah. my opinion is. Uh, it's really light. It looks heavy. It looks heavy, but it's yeah, really light. It's vinyl. It's vinyl. Yeah. It's 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 a it's a piggy bank. It's it feels hollow. Like the inside of the head is hollow. And it doesn't look like it at all. It looks it looks solid. Ta da! Yeah. And they well, thought he was brilliant. There's nothing in there. Yeah. Empty-headed buffoon. Yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah. It looks solid because even though it's vinyl, it's painted to look. Yeah. The like, airbrush uh, work on is pretty impressive. Yeah. For for something that's. Uh, what the, it wasn't copper, but whatever, whatever the fudge metal it is. Yeah, well, maybe I don't they know. added. There's some really nice shading to it. You saw in the close-ups of it. Every like little wrinkle has that sort of metallic darkness to it, and the uh, the surface has. If you look at a little bit of like glittery, uh, like the kind of gold coppery sheen to it, it does have a light sparkle. Yeah, it's really impressive. It, yeah. it looks. It looks. If I saw this just on a bookcase or something, I would. You know. I would, it would look heavy. It doesn't look like a toy. Yeah, at all. No. Which is fun because if you're a Bat fan, it should just sort of blend in as Yeah, 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 yeah. In fact, until, yeah. And then you do that. That's the fun factor. Because, um, again, it's just a bank, and the, the little slot is right up here, but the fact that the button doesn't work. None of this actually moves. It's just a, a static thing. But as far as, like, having a static thing as a Bat fan, just having this around... That's cool. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. And I end up with the, the, a bat fan that walks up and just doesn't want anyone to know that they know, and then it's in there. Right. It's pretty cool. That's pretty cool yeah, too. Pretty like cool. it. It's got. It's got. I don't want to say good nerd cred on the shelf, but like. Yeah. Oh. Having it on the shelf, walking into the house, it well, makes me happy, and it'll make a guest happy. I yeah. I. I think. I think that there is a cred, in you know, value to it only because um, only fans that are actually in it beyond. Oh, Batman wears this. You know, the Batman fans because they yeah. bought a T-shirt somewhere. Um, wouldn't know what this was, a casual fan of Batman. Or yeah, who didn't grow up on the old show. Yeah, people... And yeah. would think, hey, that's a pretty cool Shakespeare bust. Yeah, they'd be go, oh, okay. And see, I would walk up and go... Yeah. 
Anyone okay, who walked in and did that would score points. I'm like, I'm glad you checked. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I like you. See, I'm trying to flip the switch too, because my first thing is I'm expecting this thing to slide right, and then pulls. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that would be the dream. Uh, yeah. Again, you mentioned how light it is, so it's nice that like you're not spending hundreds and hundreds of dollars on like a metal, iron, copper thing. Yeah. Uh, it's I think it retails for like eighty five bucks. You see it a lot of places for like eighty five ninety, which I think, if I'm gonna be honest, is a little pricey. It's expensive, but but emotional value then bumps yeah, it up. Yeah. Because, I, I mean, a hunk of vinyl for 85 is a lot, I won't deny you, but for what you're getting. Yeah, because... For what you're getting. How many times... You know, there was a... I don't know what magazine it was, but as a kid, there was one of those things they would... My parents would order me, you know, like a Walk of Fame star that had my name on it and that type of stuff. There was mm -hmm. some kind of... And they would have small busts of Shakespeare and Bach and all those type of things. And I would go, oh, man, I really want to get that Shakespeare one because it was mm -hmm. reminiscent of this. And then we'd have to cut the head. You know, you're trying to figure it out as a kid. Yeah. How, how you're are we going to make do that? Yeah. So this, I, I, you know, right. even being, you know, 37-year-old man, I'm looking at this. And that 10-year-old is going, yes. Right. And, but, yeah. And but, the fact that it's like 20 inches tall, it's not like a mini one. Yeah, it is, like, the, it is the it one. It makes you feel like you're freaking yeah. Batman and Robin about to yeah. do the thing. And I get far, to be Robin, though. Of course. That's fine. You're talking. Biggest Robin fan, Robin fan in the Robin's world. Robin's my guy, yeah. Uh, yeah, but as far as all the things that Diamond Select has made banks of, mostly like statues of like Harley and Batman from the torso up, or the awesome Bat phone, which I do like. Right. Bat phone. But having this in the house, this is, I think, their coolest vinyl bank of anything. Yeah. I would go as far as to say that Diamond Select's bank, little statue banks, are better than any of the action figures they make. Which action figures have they made? They do like the Marvel Select, the, they've done the Ghostbusters Select, even like the Mallrats and Clerks and Jay and Silent Oh, okay, 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 yeah, I know what those are. But I, I personally think if you're a Batman 66 fan, this would satisfy you. And then oh, I absolutely. And proof to back me up. Absolutely, I, su I support, as a Batman 66, like, Jumbo fan, I think this is outstanding. Yeah. So yeah, uh, we love it. So there you go. Uh, thanks for watching. You know, you can follow me on like Instagram and Facebook and all that stuff. But if you're interested in any of BJ's pursuits, uh, a Phoenix Dance Studio? Yeah, Phoenix Dance Center on Instagram and on Facebook. If you live in the Southern California area and you're interested in dance, if you like the hippin' and the hoppin'. And the bippin' and the boppin'. And the bippin' and the boppin'. <laughs> or, uh, or uh, I'm sure your Joe will kill me for calling it bachata. Bachata, yeah. If you're into bachata, hip-hop, any of the type of stuff, a Phoenix Dance found. Center, uh, mm -hmm. my, my significant other, uh, Joe Quinones, um, she has a dance studio, and she teaches, and I teach sometimes, too. And yeah. uh, So if you're in SoCal, yeah. and you like to dance, check them out. Yeah, come dance with us. Thanks for watching, everybody.